Let's talk about older women who waste their time on dating apps looking for love in all the wrong places. And you guys know I deal with older women because I'm in that middle age group where finances finally take precedence over everything else because the big head starts to outthink the little head and the realities of life. You begin to prioritize everything that should be prioritized. You begin to realize your priorities and you begin to regard women as the liability that they are. When you are curious, you put yourself out there or people contact you. They initiate contact with you. And many times it is older women who believe they are looking for a good man. What occurred? Where have all the men gone? After being run through more times than the Holland Tunnel. You're out of time and you don't have much value to offer. Now I know you're out there thinking I still have some breasts. Although they are a little saggy, I'm still getting peaches. I'm still emotional. I can still offer someone something. And that's about it. What you're looking for now is the guy who was just out there lonely and couldn't figure out life and was so alone, but he still has value. Okay, he still has a house in his car, he still looks good, and he might have muscles and a six-pack. You still think you're entitled to it, and that he's just hanging out here because he can't find a woman. What's the matter with you people? This person can find women faster than you can find a relationship, and remember that men are relationship gatekeepers. You're the gatekeeper to lovemaking as a woman, and that's about it. But because of your entitlement, you believe you're better than almost every woman will swipe against. So if you get on the dating app, I know my worth, and you think you're going to get out there and just put a couple of pictures out there. Lazy effort, get on a free dating app at that. Don't even bother looking for the best potential partners if you think you'll be the best pick out of everyone on here. Now listen women, if you really want to know where you stand and who your competition is, you should create a dating app as a man and see who your competition is that you're swiping against because the reality is that a lot of you think you're the top quality. You're like there can't be anybody better than me and here you are shaped like a busted Pillsbury biscuit can. Okay, that's how you're built and you're thinking, well, I'm the best, I know my worth, I'm good, I got a degree, I got a job, but you're just another piece of peace leave out there. What else do you have to offer besides that? You're already a declining asset, a liability, and you'll most likely dry up on me after I commit to you and move you in. I'm not going to get a lot more, much more peace out of that deal, but you're going to leave with lovemaking. And let me tell you something. These older women know how to do a lot of good succeeding because they have to. If you're an older woman and you're bad in bed, I'm not sure why you're even trying. Let it go. What you're probably doing out here is trying to get one of these guys to commit to you without having to perform properly, which is essentially stealing. So here's the situation. Let's just take a break and get to work. This is the reason they fail. They fail because they sign up for a free app and then believe that they are high value and high quality on a free dating app after the age of 40. All women between the ages of 18 and 35 had access to all of these men. This is what these women do. Okay, I'm going to shoot my shot with this guy. And then they shoot the shot with the guy who obviously has thousands of offers, thousands of matches, and you think you're shooting your shot. You might come over on a slow Tuesday and plow you down. Then this is what happens. Let us now consider another option. They do not reach out to you if you are not in the top 20 of the man or of men 40 and up. They think you're going to reach out to me because you're going to do it the old-fashioned way, but she has a progressive mindset. And when that guy finally does reach out, this woman believes she's doing him a favor. So you'll have to plan and date and court me and do all of these things while waiting 90 days for a piece of gushy. One in 10,000 of you will succeed, and you'll find a guy a simp to hand it over to. Here's how it works. Take a look at the kind of guy we're talking about here. He doesn't have a masculine bone in his body, but a lot of older women come in here and say, I got married, it didn't happen for me. And that's your guy right there. That's the guy you're bragging about, the guy you're telling me you've had success with. Let me tell you something, man, you lost this game. You have a male in your bed, but you don't have a man and you'll still be lonely. And every time this guy tries to roll over on your belly and pump and push and shove, you'll realize you lost right because he ain't blowing out any backs and he might not be able to roll over on your belly looking at that busted Pillsbury biscuit, can everything going to be from behind apparently? Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.